When a leader appears, the earth springs into song, <clears throat> flowered with new hope. A bright beginning, even from a terribly seated past, where dust and stones are a bare sowing ground. Wise ones have long declared leaders are people who see further and feel deeper. Such leaders know there's a design to our lives, braided with threads of the future. We don't just make history, we are called to it, just as the fleeting or slanted become solid and direct. Aspiring to be a leader, you become a leader, turning what's possible into what's next. Not just creating a nest for oneself, made of familiars who agree or keep one comfortable, not just basking in the spotlight or the imagined power, but by cultivating character, courage, discipline, and humbleness, leaders carry this sacrifice with grace. Always remember the unrecoverable moments with loved ones, with family, while also giving to the whole, even at the expense of one's own time, one's considerations. All proper sacred sacrifices are rooted in the sacred. Blessed and cursed, loved and hated, seen well or lied about, no leader can escape the human energies that both destroy and lift up. Yet true leaders are matched for this challenge. There is a leader seed planted before birth and carefully nurtured by angels, by, by elements, by the alignments of universal sway. You feel this in the bones, somewhere the message is I was meant to be here. Yet, as deeper truths go, leaders see further and feel deeper. Just like the rest of us, only more. Turning time into learning, into passion, into revelation. They bargain with God for how to be in this world. Learning for learning, passion for passion, revelation for revelation. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions for Luis before he takes a seat? Uh